Hey everybody, Rich here again. I just did a video on FTP and I said, you know, I wonder if you can do the same thing for downloading the Opera browser. And it turns out you can. And I also found out something I didn't even know existed. And I'll show you. So let's see here. Uh, CD desktop. Just make sure I'm on my desktop first. FTP, ftp.opera.com anonymous oops if I could spell it right the password for those of you that are seeing this not knowing what the password is go to the previous video to this one and it is it is explained okay anyway ls-l pub okay ls-l is opera and opera next so I just did regular opera ls-l Okay, here we have uh, Win, which is there's Unix, Win, and Mac, Nokia, OS2, Panasonic, Cyan, QNX. Why all these different companies and directories? Because Opera makes a browser for a ton of platforms. All the PC platforms, even BIOS is in here. Uh, I'm surprised there's no. I'm surprised Amiga is not here. Seriously, I'm surprised it's not here. But anyway. Uh, the one we want is Win for Windows. Uh, CDWIN. LS-L. Okay, and the... Now, compared to the Firefox, excuse me, the Mozilla FTP public server, there is no shortcut to the latest version, so you have to kind of guess. Fortunately, it's easy because it's the one usually right at the bottom, or second to the bottom, like in this case, 1200 is actually version 12 which is the latest version of the browser CD1200 enter ls-l and now here's something which is actually easier than Firefox you can actually just use the international installer they don't uh, Opera does not do this thing where they have a separate installer for every single language on the face of the earth they just use international the only ones that they have that are specific to any particular language are Chinese and English uh, an ID and I don't know what ID is sorry I don't know but INT that's the international one and that's fine CD INT and here was the part I think this oops I think this was the part let me see here yeah okay so we have opera uh, uh, opera 64 bit I didn't know opera had a 64 bit version of their browser for Windows but they do it's right here Opera 1200 in International Setup x64.exe That's the one. And you would get it by typing bin and typing get opera underscore 1200 underscore int underscore setup underscore x64.exe Because I like typing things the long way, damn it. The last one I was lazy. This one I'm not going to be lazy on. And of course you download the 64-bit, uh, only for 64-bit Windows, obviously. 32-bit Windows has the uh, regular regular uh, installer here. Anyway, it's done, and there it is. Now, I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. 64-bit Opera. Rock on. And just to confirm it, I went into my task manager and Opera. You'll notice that 32-bit apps have a asterisk 32 after them like Thunderbird, SkyDrive, uh, Auto Hotkey, it's another one I use, and uh, what is this, uh, Window Sizer, that's another one I use from Brian Apps, which is quite a cool, that's that little thing right here, that's what that is. But then I see uh, Opera does not have the, um, the reason the desktop window manager keeps jumping around is because I'm screencasting, just so you know. So anyway, Opera does not have a asterisk 32. That means it's true 64-bit goodness. Does it run any better than Opera 32? To be honest, not really. <laughs> if you're running 32-bit 30, Opera right now, that's fine. Just stick with it. Um, but I wanted to see if 64-bit uh, Opera was going to be good and yeah it's the same thing as 32-bit opera I can do the same type of browsing and all that other good stuff the only thing you have to make sure is that you have 64-bit Adobe Flash 
installed in order to view Flash content, such as on YouTube. Um, other than that, it's yeah, it appears to be the same. It does use more memory. This is true, and the reason it uses more memory is because 64-bit bit app takes more memory space. That's just the way they work. It's typical that even when you have almost nothing loaded, and I have only one web page loaded right now, you're going to see around 95 to 100k of memory taken up in 64-bit. In 32-bit, it'll be around 60, 75,000k, somewhere around there, only because it doesn't take up as much memory space. So if you happen to be rocking a 64-bit processor, as most people are these days, and uh, you have at least, I would say, 4 gigs of RAM in your system, at least 4, because that's really the only way. I mean, yeah, you could get away with 64-bit Windows 7 with 2 gigs of RAM. You really should be running at least 4, though, for 64-bit. So anyway, like I said, if you have 64-bit CPU and 4 gigs of RAM and, or greater, get Opera 64. Now, when I went to the Opera website, I said, okay, is there a way to directly download this without having to do the FTP crap that I just showed you? So I went to Browsers and Opera for Windows Mac, Opera for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay, there's a download button. Uh, I said, uh, okay, where's the 64-bit? It's not here, so I tried this download link instead. Okay, Opera 12 for Windows. There's a download, which is a, a get file, but again, it doesn't do anything. So then I finally saw this more options part, and I said, ah, okay, here we go, 32, 64 bit. So I can choose the English or the international. So if I did the English version, 64 bit, that is how you get it directly from the website. Whew. I wish they made this a little more obvious, though. I really wish they did, because if you have 64-bit CPU and you have at least 4 gigs of RAM, yeah, run the 64-bit version of the browser. The only other 64-bit you can really run besides Opera for a web, a web browser is Internet Explorer 9 64-bit. And I was so happy to see this. I said, yes, and it's an official release from Opera. This is not something which has been uh, hacked together by someone else and then recompiled like Firefox 64-bit editions are for the Windows platform. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is how to get Opera 64. To the best of my knowledge, all the extensions, like when you go into the uh, extensions here and get extensions, to the best of my knowledge, every single one of these, I'm pretty sure, whatever ones that you're using now will work in the 64-bit just like the 32-bit. So yeah, give it a shot. I'm running it right now and it runs fine, so uh, check it out.